holographer Rob Munday and royal sculptor Francis Sagelman, whose portraits of the late Queen are currently on show at London's Qantas Gallery in the exhibition Majesty, a tribute to the Queen, share their stories of the lady's unique friendship. The rapport between Angela Kelly and the Queen was unbelievable and you could just see the connection they had with each other, recalls Rob. The Queen just totally trusted Angela to do whatever. He continues, Angela was this lovely, lovely lady, really down to earth with a strong Liverpool accent, which you don't really expect to hear necessarily in Buckingham Palace. Just this fantastic banter between the two. It put you really at ease. What is even more special is that the favorite characters of the Queen and Angela are the same, both are passionate and always look at Kate Middleton with honeyed eyes. Angela also revealed, the Queen spends a lot of time following Catherine and giving the Princess a lot of style advice. The Queen is not hesitant to give the Princess of Wales royal jewelry to wear in important events. Kate Middleton is always comfortable using crowns or gemstones. Although royal expert Katie Nichol explained that in typical royal fashion, there's a hierarchy in all of this. She says after the Queen's passing, the Queen Consul Camilla really gets first choice of the Queen's jewellery, and after that is the Princess of Wales, of course. However, Angela Kelly denies this statement. Queen Camilla can, of course, choose the items that she wants. However, mainly her access is strictly limited to the Queen Mother's jewels. This tacit rule has been in place since the Queen is still alive. Meanwhile, Kate Middleton will use the jewellery collection of the late Queen. As for the necklace Cape Water the Queen's funeral, it was learned to her by the Queen for the first time in 2017 and was a piece commissioned by the Queen using pearls that were a gift from the Japanese government after Her Late Majesty's first state visit to Japan in 1975. Pearls, often referred to as mourning jewellery a tradition said to date back to Queen Victoria's era, the Express reports. The Queen approved the ban on Meghan Markle borrowing jewellery from the Royal Collection. It's been claimed hundreds of pieces of historic jewellery from diamond necklaces to brooches and tiaras make up the Royal Collection. The ban on Prince Harry's wife borrowing the items was backed by his brother Prince William, the Sun can report. To be perfectly honest, the Queen herself was not impressed with some of Meghan's demands, especially as a new member of the family. As a result, Buckingham Palace has decided that not all items from the Queen's royal collection will be opened up to Meghan. As part of that situation, the Queen informed Prince William that the items from the royal collection worn by Princess Diana wouldn't immediately be made available to Meghan. The senior source added, the Queen likes Meghan personally, but this is about the hierarchy. She's showing that maintaining the correct order and precedence within the family is highly important, even if Meghan's the most popular woman in the world, she's of a lower rank than Kate, 